plural s can be pronounced three different ways. One letter, three pronunciations. Hi, I am Marcy, your English coach. Are you ready to pronounce the s in plural nouns correctly? This video will teach you everything you need to know. Plural s can be pronounced s like cats, z like dogs, and is like boxes. All three words end with the same letter, s. Why are they pronounced differently? Here's the secret. Look at the last sound of the noun. Words that end with these sounds have the s plural sound. Words that end with these sounds have the z plural sound. And words that end with these sounds have the is plural sound. But why is it pronounced like this? Is it just to make English difficult? But actually, these pronunciations make it easier and more natural to pronounce plural nouns in English. Don't believe me? Let me show you. These sounds are voiceless. When you make a voiceless sound, your voice is turned off. These sounds are voiced, so your voice is turned on. S goes with voiceless sounds and z goes with voiced sounds. This helps the sounds flow together better and easier. Let's look at our examples again. Cats and dogs. With cats, the T is voiceless. So the S is also voiceless. Cats. It would be unnatural and difficult to say cats. It flows much better and easier to say cats. Dog ends with voiced g. So the S is a voiced z. Dogs. It would be more difficult and unnatural to say dogs. Dogs flows together much easier and more natural. What about plural s with the is ending? If a noun ends with this sound, an extra syllable is added, is, like boxes, bushes, and beaches. Why? Again, it is to make pronunciation easier. Let's take our example, box. Box already ends with the s sound. Listen, box. Listen to what happens if I try to add the letter s to that word. Box. Nothing changes. So an extra syllable is needed. Now let's listen. Boxes. The is ending makes it much easier to hear the plural s. In fact, all three pronunciation endings make the word flow better. But it's not always practical for an English student to stop and think, okay, this noun, what does it end with? Is it a voiced sound? Is it an unvoiced sound? That's not realistic. The best way to learn is to get lots of practice with the most common nouns in English. The more you practice these words, the more natural it will feel to your mouth. Also, with time, you will develop an ear for automatically using the correct pronunciations with other new words. The rest of this video will help you do that. Let's practice the most common nouns. Days, ways, eyes, 
boys, guys, babies, parties, worries, cities, stories, movies, trees, cows, windows, news, laws, cameras, schools, balls, walls, levels, girls, tables, goals, examples, cars, chairs, colors, stores, teachers, answers, numbers, hours, problems, homes, dreams, games, names, teams, exams, kids, beds, feelings, songs, legs, tests, parts, facts, sports, students, nights, lights, minutes, events, parents, groups, steps, weeks, banks, laughs, places, pieces, cases, glasses, causes, chances, choices, houses, services, prices, businesses, beaches, churches, sizes, taxes. Nice work. Want to learn more English? Subscribe for more lessons.